Now before we start this tutorial, this is for After Effects and Photoshop. I bet you can do it in any other program as well, but um, these are just the best programs out there. No doubt about that. So to download it, you can just go to the Adobe website and download the trial version, 30 days. Um, I prefer to just go there right now so you can uh, follow along. Right now. Okay, let's uh, take a quick look what it's going to look like. There we go. You see uh, the grungy texture, it's just uh, really, really simple. Well, it's from Google. Um, and then this really cool media text looking thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to run a quick one uh, this time because otherwise it will go over 15 minutes or so. Um, we're gonna create a new composition. You can use anything you like and for this tutorial. Um, it's different between any screens, you know, if your screen is about uh, 1280 by 720, you should use that one and anything else. You need to put the duration on one, just put one in there and click OK. Um, well, let's just start off by creating the text, because that's a pretty big step. So you want to uh, type something. In this case I'm typing my name and I don't see it because it is black. There we go. Alright, now you see um, there is a lot of space between it. Um, we come to that later. I'm just going to put that on zero. Or 50 or so. Okay, scale this up and place it around the middle section. Now you want to duplicate this. Ctrl D or Command D or Mac. And by double clicking on the text, you can edit it again and work on its type. Um, media or film or productions or whatever. So there you go. Now what you want to do is to go down here and just drag it all the way up so it just scales up until it all, almost uh, fits the first title and then bring it down like this and keep it expanded but just uh, take off the height if you know what I mean. I'm gonna try to uh, fit that right into here, so it's almost the same length, almost. Now you also saw that I created two um, horizontal, really small uh, rectangles. So with your rectangle tool selected, just drag a line across the media and put off the stroke and create a fill, just a white fill. There we go. And duplicate it, Ctrl D. And with Shift, oh, I didn't duplicate it, did I? <laughs> duplicate it, there we go. Oh, I see. You should have only the layer selected, not the content. Duplicate it, with Shift selected, or hold it, just put it up like that. Now this is a bit too far above the text so I'm just gonna slightly edit that a bit. There we go. Now this also, this already looks uh, pretty nice. But what I also did was I created this interesting character editing kind of look. Yeah. There Okay, so what you want to do is with your text selected, right click and create shapes from text. So now every character or every uh, yeah every uh, single character is a uh, well 
yeah, that's actually what it's saying. <laughs> Shape from text. I don't know how to explain, but you will find out really, really soon. So, if we zoom in on the character we want to edit. Uh, by the way, most of the time if you are uh, doing such complex things, you should be working in uh, Illustrator, because you can zoom in as far as you want and it doesn't get pixelated till a certain point, of course. But um, Well, let's zoom in here. Take your pencil tool, hold it, and you can take the Add Vertex tool and just add some or uh, two key. Uh, well, what are they? I forget the name, but you know what I mean. Now drop down a little bit so we can see a little bit more. Take your pencil and just drag them along the line of the text right there. Alright, now um, you see here is the current or the uh, key. Man, what is it called? Vertex, I guess? I don't know. The main one, so that's actually what the text was before gonna drop that down a little bit so now you come back to the uh, new created one and we are gonna drag that one all along the text right here till about underneath the end and we're also gonna drop that one all the way to here but now you see here is a uh, little bit of a complex part happening so we want to remove that, don't delete it. We are going to lower this one down as well to about there. Alright, now you see I didn't do this uh, real neat because it's going a little bit uh, with, a, with a strange corner. Um, but you know what I mean right now. So, we're also going to do that to the second title or letter or whatever you want. And I am just quickly going to use the, uh, the vertex that was already there and just drag it up like that because it's, I don't want to uh, spend a lot of time. What I did was just uh, adding two vertex, says, whatever, and just drag them along to the other side, just like I did on the R. Um, all right, you can just play along with that as much as you like, and you can also edit this one. Remember, right-click, create shapes from text. You can add them to the line behind or underneath. I'm sorry. Um, just play along with that. Now, what I did for the background, I just went on to Google. Google. Um, headed to images and typed in grungy background. Oops, not that one. Grungy background and hit big, um, big size. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Click it and you don't have to save it. You can just drag it right into After Effects. But I already have it, so I'm just going to use this one. And drag it on there and hit Ctrl Alt F. It will shrink it to the uh, comp size. Now we want to drag this beneath our media stuff. Um, what you see now is that our text is white. So if you all select it and make it black, that doesn't work because we edited the things. So we're going to add a kind of magic right now. If you 
select all the layers you want color, go to effect, generate, fill, there we go, and just make it black. How easy is that? Alright. There we go. Now you can uh, scale this up right now. Hit S, scale this up, but you see everything is uh, going over each other and underneath. So with all the layers selected, or the text layers, etc., hit Ctrl Shift C and it's gonna pre compose it. We're gonna call this text. And if we're gonna scale this up right now, everything just stays in shape. It's a little bit too big. Man, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Um, you see, this is really cool because you can see through it, and it's almost like the fiery thing. So, how to do that is go to the mode and put it on overlay. Now you can see it that you got now, so I'm going to duplicate it twice. There we go. My other text was a little bit... but it was more fat, so I'm just... Um, be sure you may make it like uh, like it's good for you. Um, to the upper text, you know, the layer that is all the way on top. With that one selected, go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. That just creates a really nice dark image. Now uh, select the um, background image and hold on the rectangle tool and go to the elliptical mask. Double click it. So get this mask and hit F. So the feather comes up and just expand it all the way. Now here's the thing, I don't like it this way because it cuts off the text a little bit. So we are going to expand the mask. Just do it by, uh, oops. by double clicking on the mask and dragging it one way. Now you see the other side doesn't come come with it, so hit control and there we go. Now this actually basically is it. So now for the rendering. Because it's one frame, it just renders one frame if you put it in a GPEG sequence. Make sure it is in one frame, because otherwise you get really tons and tons of pictures and you don't want that. So, um, when you're in the right composition, we just made, go to composition, add the render queue, and click on the output module, and choose GPEG sequence, hit OK. Output 2 and you can give it a name so I'm gonna name it for for you guys watching this on YouTube right now and thinking what a nerd he must be creating such a title alright and just save it and click render. It should make a uh, ping sound right now. If it doesn't, your PC is broke. There we go. And if I'm right, it's just stored on the place you just saved your files. So let's take a look at what we just made. If I can find it. Uh, well, my screen is too too uh, small. I'm sorry. Well, um, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, learned something from this and enjoyed it. And be creative. Create your own stuff. And please subscribe, comment, rate, or thumbs up it this this time, I guess. Um, so see you next time. This was Ruben for Dirt Productions, and enjoy your day.